Once we acquire data, we need to extract it and clean it. So for this, we need two packages, URL lib and beautiful soap. So now in this video, we are going to learn about HTML parsing and cleanup. Are you interested? Let's come learn together. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn firstly about URL lib package. URL lib3 is a powerful user-friendly HTTP client for Python. It's a package that collects several modules for working with the URLs. URL lib.request is used for opening and reading URLs. So you can see here from URL lib.request, so request is a submodule. I am importing URL open from URL lib.request. I am importing, I just need URL open for my code so that I can open URLs. So in line number two, you can see here, my URL is, a, URL is a variable in which I put the URL, this URL, right? This is random URL. You can use any URL of your choice. So in line number three, you can see there HTML is a variable that contains information of my URL when it will open it and it is going to contain the source code. Fourth line will print the source code that is contained in HTML variable. So that's why I'm using HTML variable in the parenthesis of print statement, right? So one more thing I would like to show you is here URL lib is a package that you can go and search on Google. Three is a version. So this is the command used to install URL lib three. So you can find information about URL3 on this web page and you can go to release history tab to see the release history of URL3, URL lib3 and this is a home page. You can go to user guide or you can also go to API reference. This contains modules and the packages and methods and other information related to URL lib3, right? So you can go and check information in here, in API reference, right? So this is the URL that I'm using in my code. So simply I need to go to source code, view page source to display the source code. This is the source code that I require. So that I can get using at URL open function and dot read method. So in URL open, I'm passing my URL. All right. So, but make sure this is going to give you URL, the source code in unorganized form. Uh, as you can see in output here. Right. So if you want to see your source code in something organized form you do, you require beautiful soap simply you can go to google and search for beautiful soap and you can check about this package as well all right so now beautiful soap is a method it's a python library actually it's not a method for pulling data out of html and xml files it works with your favorite parser to provide idiomatic ways of navigating, searching, and modifying the parse tree. Right? So beautiful soap is, is a package that works with your favorite parser and it helps you to navigate through the source code. The information, the text that you require, it will display in an organized form. So now you can see here from BS4, import beautiful soap. Do you want to see? this beautiful soap as well so simply go here go to google and type here so this is how you can install beautiful soap on your ide this is a release history this is home page you can see information more information about beautiful soap here and here you can see documentation and here this is 
all the this is the documentation for all the things that it can do so in the upcoming tutorial we are going to use this find function and find all function so i'm clicking on find here so this is here you can see how we can use find function or find all function so these we are going to use in our upcoming tutorial so let's move back to our slide so in line number two firstly we have use import keyword to import beautiful soap so now i'm using soapified soapified is a variable that contains beautiful soap and within the parenthesis of beautiful soap method here i'm using html html is a variable remember that we have used in the in slide this slide so html is a variable that contains my url like the source code but in unorganized form because you have here we have used url open and read so it has it contains source code using url lib but we want to organize it so here i'm using soap if in the soapified variable and beautiful soap as an argument i'm passing here html and html dot parser is my favorite parser that i'm using right so print Soapified. So when I'm going to print Soapified, this variable is going to show me the same source code but in organized form. I hope you understood it. Now, displaying contents of different tags of source code in web page. So this is the web page that we have. This is the web page, and here this is the title tag. Firstly, I would like to show see the contents of this tag right so moving back here so now you can see here simply i can use as line number one of this slide you can use print command and within the parenthesis of print command you can see there superfied dot title dot text superfied you remember superfied is a variable that contains you can see here that contains html like the source code in organized form and dot title title is the tag in this source code this, this contains source code source code in the source code i'm particularly i'm particularly referring the title tag and in the title tag i'm referring to i'm pointing to the text of title tag so that is why you can see here this is the output getting current data date and time in javascript stack overflow so you can make sure this is the content of the title tag right you can ensure here so now here in line number three div tag content so now i would like to see the contents of div tag so what it is going to show me supified dot find i'm using method find here with supified that contains source code so supified dot find i want to find div tag which has class s pros js post body so make sure let's search for here div tag so it is having so many div tags actually so let's search for s pros so 32 yeah this class i'm referring to the div tag with this class right so how many are there 32 right okay let's move to this copy this and paste this as a whole so 31 are there right so div tags with this class probably there are probably these are 31 right so i'm going to my code now see here line number three div tag contents supified dot find div and the classes as pros js post body so now i want to find the contents of div tag which has class name as pros js post body so this is the class name that i need to put in curly braces this is the syntax make sure so then i'm using print 
variable name div tag contents dot text because I want to extract the content of that div tag with the class with the given class right so it will display here right so this is only one time it is going to display but here we are going to use for loop using this loop I can display the contents of all div tags where class is the given class j s pros j s post body this class right so simply you can use a variable data that contains supified which contains source code in organized form dot find all now here i'm using find all function and div tag then class this is another way we can display we can check we can refer to a particular class this is another way you can use that as well here in find i have used this way in find all i'm using this the, an alternate way you can use either so now for d in data now d is an iterator variable that will contain the contents of div tag which has class s pros js post body one by one d will contain text not text actually d will contain div tags one by one 31 div tags one by one firstly first div tag and at the end 31st div tag right so now first of all it will we are going to print here dash dash dash, dash just in order to separate all the contents of the div, the given div tags now you can see here d dot text d contains the div tag dot text that we want to extract text out of those div tags with the given class and here i'm using backslash and three times so that i can leave gap of three lines and i can display the contents of div tags separately here we are using strip function remove spaces at the big beginning and at the end of the string so you can see here a variable tags is there that contains supified remember supified is a variable that contains i'm repeating it contains source code in organized form again we are using find all find all what a right a is a tag so here a is a tag i want to find all a tags then you can see here in the comment section in line number two, supervise dot find all within double quotes and parentheses, it's a tag finds all the a tags, right? So for t in tags, now for t's iterator variable in tags, tags is the line of line number one that contains all a tags. Then using for loop, I am printing t dot text dot strip. I'm printing the text of all the A tags and I'm removing the spaces at the beginning and at the end of all the strings, right? So you can see in the here, you can see in here the second for loop we have used. So for link in all A, now you can see link is iterator variable that I have taken. Link in all. Now I'm using here, this is another way basically. So now what I'm going to do is supified.findall. I'm using within the for loop, supified find all method with supified that contains a tags. Now all the tags of the source code and using the for loop, I want to just print link.gethref. So I'm going to display the links i'm going to display the links of href attribute like for example let me show you so you can see here so here you can see href attribute has link hash so it will be displayed so in here this a tag has href attribute that contains this particular link so this will be display, uh, displayed so 472 links probably will be there 
that will be displayed like this right so now in this slide you can see here extracting all the text from a page like if you want to extract all the text from a page you can simply use supify dot get underscore text method it using this method you can extract all the text from a page thank you like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon we are so thankful that you are supporting us.